We're having Pisces full moon in September, and what does it mean? What does it have to do with your life? You deserve to know what's going on in our solar system because we are going to become a planetary citizen. So, full moon is happening on September 1st at 10.21 p.m. in Pacific time. So if you guys are Northern or Southern America, you're gonna be able to see it at night. As you can see in this chart, we're having full moon. And if you're new to astrology, don't worry about it. I'm going to break it down and translate it into English. Every full moon marks a culmination of some sort. It's time to harvest and reap the benefits of your hard labor. Pisces is the sign of healing and it is ultimately a mysteriousness. It rules mysticism. The ruler of Pisces is Jupiter and it's in retrograde in Capricorn. Now, Jupiter is not so happy in the sign of Capricorn and it's in retrograde, however, we can still experience a lot of healing when it comes to some sort of system and structure. And everyone is going to be different because we all have different birth charts. So if you want to have a deeper insight of how this particular full moon is being reflected on in your life, you need to see your own birth chart and see in which house you have Pisces is located and see if there is any planets in Pisces and look at the Jupiter and Neptune but in this video I'm gonna keep it general and let's take a look at this chart so as the ruling planet Jupiter is in retrograde we would experience a lot of massive healing on the collective level the full moon is happening in the mutable sign which is all about implementation upgrades of any sort However, right now, as you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five, five planets in cardinal sign, which is all about initiation and changes. But we also have one, two, three, four planets in mutable signs. So since last new moon in Leo, we are escalating some sort of momentum to bring substantial changes into societal system and on a personal level it this could be your own backbone of who you are uh, this could be about your routine or career or anything that helps sustain how you operate yourself how you live your life on a conscious level you might be aware of a lot of details and nitty-gritty information and possibly flaws and shortcomings be aware that you don't fall into a self-critical state of being. There are a lot of emphasis in Capricorn and Virgo. These two planets are very challenging by nature because it requires a lot of repetition and directed focus to improve something. However, the main character is Fulman in Pisces. Pisces is all about healing, therapeutic, and imaginative. It is actually hard to pin down in words because Pisces rules another level. It represents an astral realm and anything that is transcending our physical reality. In nature, Pisces represents the ocean. We haven't really discovered everything about the ocean. There is still a significant portion of the ocean that remains as mystery so for the next two weeks or so we are going to experience a lot of healing and something that we can't really explain in words when you're at a lower vibration feeling uncomfortable and not really wanting to raise your vibration by feeling good by taking action upon your passion or interest or something or any positive feelings then you would find yourself wanting to escape from reality which is a negative aspect of Pisces you can indulge yourself 
through certain substances, alcohol, drug, or games, or any sort of addiction. This could be your own addictive behavioral and thought patterns. You can be pretty much like zoned out from the reality and live in the imaginary world, like a game, virtual reality of any sort. You could go on a retreat. However, when you focus on positivity, as you raise your vibration, you can experience the positive sides of Pisces, which is healing. And one way to entrain your vibration to positivity is creative activities or spiritual practice. You can allow yourself to be lost in positive imaginary words through guided meditation or just watching films or dramas that represent your desire, your fantasy. Uh, what else? You can go on a retreat. And Pisces is also about vacation and your ability to relax. Since we are having a full moon in Pisces, we can start taking a different route when it comes to connecting to our vision, fantasy, and healing ourselves. So retrograde Jupiter is trining Sun in Virgo. This means that a lot of us can find a teacher figure or a mentor figures, or this could be inner wisdom that we can find within ourselves. Since it's in retrograde, the knowledge may not be fully externalized but we can experience this inner knowingness. And when Jupiter starts going direct, we're going to start expressing the knowledge. We're going to apply our knowledge to what we do on an external level because the sun represents not just your career, but what you do in the public setting. By the way, Jupiter is going to start going forward around the 13th of September. As I mentioned in the previous New Moon in Leo video, Saturn and Mars is still challenging each other, but you are going to be able to benefit from this placement by taking inspired action to bring gradual changes to the systems that you've been part of. For example, if you're Libra rising, your Saturn is in the fourth house. So this could be about bringing substantial gradual changes to your home, to your emotional foundation, your family as well. And this action can be triggered in the relationship setting through collaboration, partnership, and one-on-one -on -one deals. So if you're being kind of geeky about astrology, you can find your own birth chart and see how things are playing out. Actually, you know what? I want to pull some cards to see what's going to be the general theme that is playing out from tarot perspective. So this is the tarot deck that I created. It's called Simple Words Tarot. It's now available for pre-orders if you guys are interested in, check this out. So for this full moon in Pisces. Oh, I love this kind of flying, fly away cards. Okay, I love this. The death. There is no reason to be scared of the word death because it is all about transformation. I don't know if it's out of focus. It's about transformation, rebirth, new identity, transition, shed what's no longer working. And at the bottom, we've got the fool. Ooh, it just fell out. We've got the Fool and the Goddess of Light. I love it. So, uh, to me, this feels like a lot of you guys are going through substantial changes. It's okay that you have no idea what, where you're exactly going to be landed. This almost feels like Caterpillar becoming a butterfly and we're going to improve some sort of skill sets and deepen our understanding of 
while we have been investing so far, I don't feel that there are going to be a drastic 180 degree shifts. Of course, look at your birth chart. So keep investing, putting the work and focus on improvement. But at the same time, it's important that you let go of the need to control and let God. Because Pisces is one of the most spiritual signs and when you don't control anything, you are going to find your own current and actually find yourself excelling and accomplishing more than you can ever imagine. It's like you're in the path of least resistance. You're in the flow of the nature. So that is what is coming up and I hope this is helpful. So if you made up to this point, leave an emoji or feel free to share your feedback. I would love to know what kind of changes you're going through in your own life. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day and happy full moon. Bye.